term signs today's topic is about Braden cycle Braden cycle is an ideal cycle for gas turbine engines Braden cycle is also known as Joule cycles gas turbine cycles or constant pressure cycles also Braden cycle is one of the gas power cycle in this lecture we will discuss how to derive efficiency expression of a Braden cycle Braden cycle consists of three major components that are compressor, combustion chamber and turbine. You can see on diagram, compressor is placed between 1 and 2 and combustion chamber is placed between 2 and 3 and turbine is placed between 3 and 4. We will see one by one. First one, compressor. Compressor is a device which used to increase pressure of air from low pressure to high pressure. The process that used in compressor is isentropic compression process. Here isentropic indicates that there is no heat transfer from or to the compressor which means compressor is isolated from the surrounding or compressor surface temperature is equal to atmospheric temperature. In this process pressure increases from P1 to P2 Temperature increases from T1 to T2. Entropy increases from S1 to S2. Whereas volume decreases from V1 to V2. Maximum here we will not talk about volume. We will talk about only pressure, entropy and temperature. The cross sectional area of a compressor is decreased from inlet to outlet. So it is indicated like this. We know that compressor is a open system in which energy and mass can cross the boundary of the system. That energy may be electric energy or soft work. Mass is nothing but air. We know that compressor is a work consuming device. So we need to find out what is the work given to the compressor. <coughs> and also from isentropic relation, if we know T1, P2, P1, you can find out T2. That is T2 divided by T1 is equal to P2 divided by P1 whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. It is a isentropic relation. And during the compression process, we talk about pressure ratio. Pressure ratio is the ratio between maximum pressure to the minimum pressure during compression. That is P2 divided by P1 and replace this RP here you will get P2 divided by T1 is equal to RP whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. Since it is an open system we need to find out the work given to the compressor. According to the first law of thermodynamics open system we go for steady flow energy equation. In steady flow energy equation it says the total energy at inlet is equal to the total energy at outlet. That is, at inlet we have kinetic energy, potential energy, internal energy, flow energy and the heat given to the system or heat out of the system. Similarly, kinetic energy at outlet, potential energy at outlet, internal energy at outlet, flow energy at outlet and work given to the system or work out of the system. In compressor, we assume that the kinetic energy at the inlet and outlet are equal which means the velocity is equal C1 is equal to C2. Similarly, my inlet and outlet both are at same level from the ground. So, potential energy is 0. Z1 is equal to Z2. And I know this isentropic indicates there is no heat transfer to the system or from the system. Q become 0. If you need to find out what is your work given to the compressor, that is W is equal to internal energy plus flow energy at inlet minus internal energy plus flow energy at outlet. We know that H is equal to U plus PV, which means enthalpy is a sum of internal energy plus flow energy. So this equation can be written as WC is equal to H1 minus H2. This is H1, this is H2. 
C indicates compressor. If you solve this one, you will get negative value because compressor is a work consuming device. So in order to make uh, positive, we rearrange the equation. WC is equal to H2 minus H1. Now we will get positive work, but we have to write the work consumed by the compressor is this much. And we know that H is equal to CPT. So that can be written as WC is equal to CP T2 minus T1 kilojoule per kg. If you multiply with mass kilojoule, if you multiply with mass flow rate kilojoule per second. Next, combustion chamber. Combustion chamber is a device in which air and fuel is mixed thoroughly and ignited with a spark from a spark plug. We know that combustion chamber acts as open system. So, the process occurs in combustion chamber is considered as constant pressure heat addition process. We know that combustion chamber is placed between 2 and 3. So, we will consider process 2 to 3. In this process, pressure remains constant that is P2 is equal to P3. But temperature increases from T2 to T3 and entropy increases from H2 to S3. Since it is a heat addition process, we need to find out the amount of heat given to the air. For that, we go for first law of thermodynamics that is study flow energy equation for open system. We know that the total energy at inlet is equal to the total energy at outlet. Let's take our kinetic energy at inlet and outlet are same. So, it becomes 0. C2 is equal to C3. Similarly, my inlet and outlet are at same height from the ground. So, potential energy becomes 0. And we know that we won't give any work to the combustion chamber and it won't produce any work. So, work becomes 0. So, now we need to find out Q. That is, internal energy plus flow energy at outlet minus internal energy plus flow energy at inlet. We know that H is equal to U plus PV. That is, enthalpy is the sum of internal energy plus flow energy. So, this equation can be written as Q is equal to H3 minus H2. We know that H is equal to CPT. So, this equation can be written as CPT3 minus T2. Kilojoule per kg. Multiply mass becomes kilojoule. Multiply mass flow rate kilojoule per second. Next, turbine. Turbine is a device which produces work by extracting the gases. The process occurs in turbine is considered as isentropic expansion process. We know that turbine is placed between 3 and 4. So, this is process 3 to 4. In this process, pressure decreases from P3 to P4. Temperature decreases from T3 to T4. Entropy decreases from S3 to S4. Volume increases from V3 to V4. We know that the cross-sectional area of the turbine is increases from inlet to outlet. So, it is indicated like this. From isentropic relation, that is T3 divided by T4 is equal to P3 divided by P4 whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. We know that here we talk about pressure ratio. That is, pressure ratio is a ratio between maximum pressure to the minimum pressure during the expansion process. We know that P3 divided by P4. P3 is equal to P2. P4 is equal to P1. Replace it. You get it. T3 divided by T4 is equal to RP whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. If you know T3, if you know RP, you can get T4. Since turbine is a work producing device, we need to find out the amount of work produced by the turbine. For that, we will go for study flow energy equation. In study flow energy equation, we know that it is state 3 to 4. The total energy at inlet is equal to the total energy at outlet. And we take our kinetic energy at inlet and outlet are same. So, C3 is equal to C4 becomes 0. Similarly, the inlet and outlet are same level from the ground. So, potential energy becomes 0. And we know that this isentropic indicates that there is no heat transfer to the turbine or from the turbine. So, Q becomes 0. Now, we need to find out work produced by the turbine. That is, W is equal to internal energy plus flow energy at inlet minus internal energy plus flow energy at outlet. We know that enthalpy is a sum of internal energy plus flow energy. So, this equation can be written as 
Wt is equal to H3 minus H4. T indicates turbine. We know that H is a CPT. So this equation can be written as Wt is equal to Cp T3 minus T4. Kilojoule per kg. Multiply mass, kilojoule. Multiply with mass flow rate, kilojoule per second. Next we will discuss constant pressure heat rejection process. We know that the turbine exists temperature must be always greater than the inlet temperature of the compressor. So we need to find out the amount of heat rejected. We know that atmospheric is a big universe where it maintains constant pressure. That's why we will take constant pressure heat rejection. To find out this, we need to go for process 4201. That is constant pressure heat rejection process. QR is equal to Cp T4 minus T1. So we will get amount of heat rejected from the air. Next we will discuss PV and TH diagram. You know that process 1 to 2 isentropic compression process. It follows PV power gamma is equal to constant. Entropy is constant. S1 is equal to H2. 2 to 3 constant pressure heat addition process. Where P2 is equal to P3. And 3 to 4 isentropic expansion process. Where PV power gamma is equal to constant. S3 is equal to S4. And 4 to 1 constant pressure heat rejection process. P1 is equal to P4. Next we will discuss how to derive efficiency expression of a Braden cycle. We know that process 1 to 2 isentropic compression process and process 3 to 4 isentropic expansion process. From process 1 to 2 and process 3 to 4 find out T2 and T3 in terms of T1 and T4 which means process 1 to 2 isentropic compression process T2 can be written as Rp power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into T1. Similarly process 3 to 4 Isentropic expansion process T3 can be written as Rp power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into T4. We know that efficiency is an output divided by input. Output is Qs minus Qr or we can go for Wt minus Wc. What is input? Amount of heat supplied to the air. Substitute Qs, Qr. This equation becomes 1 minus QR divided by QS. What is the QR? QR is what? T4 minus T1. What is the QS? T3 minus T2. So CP, CP we get cancelled. Now substitute T3 in terms of T4 and T2 in terms of T1. And simplify, you will get the equation 1 minus 1 divided by RP power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. In this class, we will discuss what is the effect of pressure ratio on blood and cycle? If you like this video, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.